Hi everyone. In this video, we will look into it. How does CyberArk cloud onboarding will look like for secure cloud access? So let's get started. So the first thing is whenever you go to the secure cloud access style, so you will be able to see there are three different steps to perform. So today we are going to look into the first step for AWS AM Identity Center. So I'll click on onboard your cloud workspace. And it will take us to the cloud entitlement uh, entitlements manager dashboard. So that's where we will be doing the onboarding. We will click on start connecting platforms. In in today's demonstration, we will be looking into AWS organization onboarding. So I will simply click on add button. And then we will start filling in all the information. Okay, the first information requirement is management account ID. So I'll go, I'll, I have logged into my management account and I will copy my management account ID. Then we have to provide our root IDs. For root IDs, what I'll do, I'll go to AWS organizations. So here, this is my root ID. So I'll copy this, we'll paste it here. So organization name, so I'll say, this is my SEA AWS organization. So then it's gonna ask you whether you are using AWS IAM Identity Center or not. In my case, I do use AWS IAM Identity Center, formerly known as AWS SEC. So here, then the next option it is asking us the region where your SSO management account resides. So if I go to my AWS Identity Center, let me open a new tab. So my AWS Identity Center is not enabled in US East one. However, I enabled it in Singapore region. If I go to Singapore region, so you are able to see my AWS IAM Identity Center is already enabled. So what I do, I'll provide my region name, which is AP Southeast one. So the next thing it is asking us, uh, in which region the logs are stored. So my logs are stored in management account and let's look into my log location. So what I'll do, I'll go to the cloud train. So in the cloud train, this is my log location. We will go there to S3 bucket and go to the AWS logs. So this is my organization ID. That's where all the logs are stored. So I'll copy my S3 URI. So it is mentioned here as well. So what are the steps you have to follow? And my region is North Virginia region, which is US East one. So once you fill up all this information, so then you have to simply click on a cloud formation stack. So it will take a couple of seconds. So now the my cloud formation stack has been generated. So this is my stack name. So here are a few things you have to take note. So this is my login account ID. This is my account ID for CyberArk. This is the CyberArk account ID. So this is one of the things you have to take note. And there is another account is being used by CyberArk behind the scenes is 244-1759-32815. So there are two different accounts involved on this from a CyberArk SaaS services. And I will go and acknowledge everything. So then 
let's create a stack. So stack creation takes a couple of, couple of minutes. So here you will see there are two nested stacks is going to get created. One is on the CM side, other one is on SCS side. So let me pause this video for a couple of seconds and then we will come back. So we will see one of the nested stack for SCA has been created successfully. Let's look into some of the resources. So if I click on the resources, so one of the key thing to take note is CyberArk SCA, SCA uh, cross account rule has been created successfully. Let me open it in a new window. So here we see the role has been created successfully. If I click on the trust relationship, so you are able to see this role can be assumed only by CyberArk SC account. And this is the role ID. And if we click on the permissions, so these are the few permissions uh, SCA will require. So these are some of the permissions around on the IAM side and some permission on the single sign-on side. So these are the few permissions required. So let me close this window and let's wait for PM uh, nested stack to get completed. So let's look on this. So here it is taking a couple of seconds. So we are able to see even the CM nested stack has been created successfully. So again, the root stack is still working progress. So let's wait for a couple of seconds. So here we can see Cybrax CM cross account role has been created as well. So let's look into this specific role. So once I click on this specific role, if I go to the trust relationship, you are able to see uh, this role can be trusted by Cybrox uh, CM account. And then if I look at the permission, these are the few permissions required by Cybrox at the org level, at the, at the individual account level. So these are the few permissions around Lambda, S3 bucket and single sign-on is required. So we'll go back into the cloud formation stacks. So let's wait for the stack to get completed. It is taking a couple of seconds. So what I'll do again, I'll pause this video. It took additionally two, three minutes to get this entire stack completed. So we look at the resources. These are the resources got created behind the scenes as well. So let's go to the CM. On the CM, we will click on the start discovery. So I'll click on the connect button. So the organization got connected. So now what it is going to do behind the scenes, slowly it will start scanning the entire cloud trail and from there it will start finding out all the appropriate information what all activity is being done by user what all activity is being done by given i am roles so it will try to gather all the information so thanks a lot everyone for watching this first video on how does aws organization onboarding will look like for cyber secure cloud access